Now I have recently shown you how to install a custom ROM on your Pixel or Pixel XL. And today I'm going to take that a step further and show you how to install a custom kernel. You should be aware that kernels are made for specific situations for phones and tablets. So for example, a custom kernel will be made for generally for a specific version of Android and it will be made for a specific type of Android. So right now on the Pixel phones there are two different types of custom kernels one for Android 7.1 and then one for Android 7.1.1 so be sure that you're downloading the specific version of your custom kernel for the version of Android you are running. And custom kernels are generally also made depending on if they want to work on the stock software, which will be the software that comes from Google. And then the other type will be generally referred to as AOSP which can also be referred to as it used to be CyanogenMod but now it will likely be referred to as Lineage, Lineage OS so just be sure that you're downloading and wanting to install the correct version of a custom ROM for the situation that you have with your phone There's also a couple of different ways to install a custom kernel. I'm going to use the Franco kernel and the Elemental X kernel as my example here today. And the Elemental X kernel is very basic. You just want to download that zip file to your Pixel or Pixel XL. And then you're going to want to reboot into TWRP as your custom recovery. And then you'll flash it after, by, by tapping the install button, tapping on the Elemental X zip file, swiping the white arrows to the right to install. And that will bring up a installer, what they call an aroma installer. That will walk you through setting some of the options up. With that aroma installer you can just keep stuff as the default option unless you know what you're doing and then keep pressing next and you'll eventually reboot back into twrp so that you can reboot back into android some custom kernels like franco kernel at the time of writing this and recording this tutorial they're not available in a zip installer type of file. So with that, you're going to have to boot the phone into fast boot mode. And then you're going to need to flash and install the custom kernel with a fast boot command. So we're just going to reboot the Pixel and Pixel XL into fast boot mode which is also known as bootloader mode but if you're unsure of how to do things like install twrp boot into fast boot mode or anything like that be sure to check the full description below this video as the full tutorial will have links to these specific guides for how to get that stuff set up and get that stuff done So now that you have booted into fast boot mode, we're just going to connect our phone to the computer with a USB cable. And then we're going to turn our attention to a command prompt. And just like before, if you're not sure or familiar with how to install A to B and fast boot tools, again, just check the full tutorial as I'll have links to all that. 
So you'll want to start the ADB service with the command ADB devices. Once that's done, you're going to need to download the Franco kernel file from XDA. And then you're going to want to copy or move that into the same folder that your ADB and Fastboot tools are located in. Once that's done, we're just going to type out fastboot space flash space kernel space the name of that file, which right now is fk-r6-gz. And then we're just going to press enter on our keyboard. So you can see it sent the kernel to the phone, which went OK. And then it wrote the kernel to the proper part of the file system, which again went OK. And then it sent us back to the blank command prompt. So just to turn our attention back to our phone, we're going to press the volume down button once until the start option is highlighted and that's going to boot us back into Android I should note it's probably a good idea for you to create a Nandroid backup from within TWRP before you do any of this. And that's a good idea just in case you have downloaded the wrong version of the custom kernel. Or if that custom kernel is for some reason just not working with your phone then you'll always have the option of booting back up into TWRP and then doing a restore of that previously created Nandroid backup. So now that we are back into Android, just to show you that everything went okay, I'm going to launch the settings application. Scroll down and I'm going to tap on the about phone section. And as you can see here, the kernel version is now set to Franco kernel. And you'll see the same if you install Elemental X or any other custom kernel that you have chosen that kernel version will have a custom name for the custom kernel that you're currently using so that is how to install a custom kernel on both the pixel and the pixel XL From here, you can either let the custom kernel run as stock, or you can install a custom kernel tweaking application for your device. Now, a lot of the custom kernel developers will have a specific companion application that works with their custom kernel. So Franco has his own Franco kernel application. Elemental X has a companion application for it as well you don't have to use those you can use a free kernel adjustment application like kernel adutor or however it's pronounced but using one that's specifically made for your custom kernel will give you options within the menu that work specifically for that 
Like you'll be able to adjust certain features that are included in your custom kernel with the companion application that's made for it while a regular free generic custom kernel application will just let you adjust some of the more non-specific and broad parameters.